Hello you wonderful people I hope you all are doing absolutely great welcome back to the channel I hope you all are doing absolutely great I'm seeing you guys after so long so I hope you all are doing really well you are learning and growing together so in today's video I'm going to discuss with you all the entire roadmap for gate exam so if you are a biomedical engineer wanting to know more about gate exam wanting to know what to prepare then this is the video for you this is the roadmap for gate exam without further ado let's dive into the video Cool. I believe you guys can see the screen. So let's get into the roadmap for GATE exam. I will cover everything in detail starting from what is GATE, why do we write GATE, what is the exam pattern, what is the specific exam pattern for or the syllabus for biomedical engineering GATE exam and things like that. So moving to the next slide, GATE exam is also known as one of the India's, one of the India's toughest engineering exams. So usually it is undertaken by people who have finished their undergraduate degree and they're looking for masters or PhD and you know, um, higher education level, right? So this is usually the exam that you guys have to appear if you are finishing your undergraduate and you want to do your masters from IITs, IIITs, NITs and things like that. So who conducts gate exam is basically, there are seven IITs in India. They also collaborate with IISC Bangalore and together they conduct this exam. And like I said, this is usually taken undertaken by undergraduate students uh, from the engineering and science field and they take it and if they clear it they get into the higher education level which can be masters phd you know so things like that so why gate right why you should write gate exam because you know the first and the most common reason is to get admission to top institutes right um, if you have finished your BTEC, you write gate exam, you clear gate exam, you get into master's program, MTech, ME, MS, in IITs, IISC, NITs, IIITs and other prestigious institutions and also you get lateral entry or direct entry for PhD programs as well. So this is the most common reason why people write gate exam but apart from this there are two more reasons why you can write gate exam. First is to recruitment in or recruitment by PSUs. If you guys don't know what is PSUs, it's public sector undertakings like ONGC, IOCL, BHEL, NTPC, right? So these recruitments are done taking into consideration the gate score that you have after you write this exam, right? So this is the second point. And the third point why you should write gate exam is to enhance your profile, career advancement, right? So if you want to enhance your profile and you want to open doors in the research and development field, then that's one more reason why you should write gate exam, right? Now the, talking about exam pattern, right? Again, exam pattern stays pretty much the same. You will be, uh, it will be a computer based test. Then it will be in English language. And there are different locations throughout India where you can go and select the centers and you can appear for this exam. Now, talking about duration, subjects and sections, it is a three year exam, right? And there are 30 subjects or papers. So what I mean by that is, it's a three hour exam and there will be 30 subjects that you will be covering, right? And that also includes general aptitude and candidates selected subjects. So now types of question, right? Now there are three types of question that you will see while you write a gate exam, right? Multiple choice question, multiple select questions and numerical answer types, also known as NAT. Cool. So multiple choice question, as you know, question, three options, multiple select questions means one question, multiple options and numerical answer type also known as NAT is basically where you will have a numerical option and you will have to select the same. Right? So these are the three types of question that you will see while you appear for gate exam. Now, questions for testing these abilities, like when you go through the exam, what are the qualities or what are the abilities that they're trying to test from these questions are recalling, comprehension, application, analysis and synthesis. So these are the things that when you write gate exam, these are the things that they're trying to analyze, like, you know, whether the candidate is having these abilities or not. So the questions are based on these uh, testing abilities, right? Cool. Now, finally, talking about distribution of marks, general aptitude will be consisting of 15 marks, engineering mathematics, 13 marks, I suck at maths, so I'm never going to appear for gate exam. But yeah, if you are good at maths, then you will have 13 marks for mathematics and subject subject questions or you know the subject wise questions that you see that will be around 72 marks and all this together will lead to a 100 mark score right so three year exam uh, 100 marks exam 15 marks of general aptitude 13 marks of engineering mathematics and 72 marks of subject based questions 
there is negative marking and this is something that uh, you need to focus on very uh, you know seriously so there is negative marking so for a wrong answer chosen an mcq so there are three types of questions that you that i told you guys mcq msq and nat right so for every wrong answer chosen in mcq there will be negative marking for a one mark mcq one third mark will be deducted for a wrong answer for a two mark mcq two third mark will be deducted for a wrong answer and there is no negative marking for wrong answers to msq and nat questions so which means multiple select questions and numerical questions will not have negative marking mostly and the, the the most important thing that you need to focus here on negative marking side is that every one mark mcq you mark incorrectly one and a half or one third mark will be deducted every two mark mcq that you uh, answer incorrectly two third marks will be deducted so these are these are the two important po uh, points that you need to remember when it comes to negative marking now talking about gate syllabus right so this is the most important thing and uh, i want to cover it in detail and i have added everything that's uh, in in the syllabus for a biomedical engineering gate exam uh, so yeah covering it quickly covers a wide range of engineering and science disciplines so this basically the gate syllabus will cover a lot of engineering concepts science uh, concepts and things like that so now the syllabus will vary from the you know the undergraduate degree that you do so for you for for us if you have done biomedical engineering when you appear for gate exam you will have syllabus completely based on biomedical engineering okay and uh, also i have just added it here detailed syllabus is available in the gate official website you can reach out there but if not the entire ppt that i am going to uh, share with you guys is there in the description so i have covered everything in detail for biomedical engineering syllabus there okay now coming and covering biomedical syllabus so the first is engineering mathematics right so you have to study linear algebra matrix systems of linear equation eigen values eigen vectors calculus differential equations so now i have covered all the subtopics as well which you need to study individually now i'm not going to tell one by one all the uh, you know subtopics that are there i'm just going to take you through the uh, main topics that you need to cover and i have also given you the subtopics that you need to study so engineering mathematics there is linear algebra there is calculus there is differential equation and there is analysis of complex variables probability and statistics and numerical methods okay so these are the topics that you have to cover in engineering mathematics followed by individual subtopics for each topics okay now next one would be electrical circuits wherein you will be covering and studying everything about voltage current vi relationships tran uh, you know transient uh, transient analysis of rlc circuits kirchhoff's law peak average rms value you know so electrical circuits basically we will cover everything that you have studied in your undergraduate degree and you know, norton norton's theorem or whatever you remember most of the topics that you have studied in your undergraduate de degree would be covered in the electrical circuits coming to signals and systems again continuous and discrete signal systems periodic and Im impulse signals sampling theorem impulse response of systems and one of my favorite topics was laplace and fourier transforms long long derivations are there so transfer functions discrete time systems impulse response basis of iir and fir filters so these are the topics that you will be covering in signals and systems and these are pretty easy topics and only like i think laplace and fourier transforms will have some derivations and equations and things like that but ap apart from that most of the other topics that you see are pretty easy to understand conceptual based so yeah good to go next one is analog and digital electronics the subject i hated the most in, in engineering college so in this you will be studying about diodes bjts mosfets characteristics and applications of operational amplifiers differential amplifiers adder subtractor integrator differentiator instrumentation amplifier buffer so uh, principles of adc and dac microprocessor architecture interfacing memory input and output devices so these are all the topics that you would have studied in your undergraduate under microcontroller and microprocessors if you had a subject like that so these are the topics that you will be covering in analog and digital electronics measurement and control systems in this you will be studying about dc potentiometer si units systematic and random errors bridges for measurement um, rl c q meter basics of control system transfer function so this is like less topics no so, so from here onwards you will see very less topics which is easy to study so what i would suggest to you guys is if you are preparing and you want to just cover these topics uh, first you can start from the back or if you want to study you know, do the more hard work in the initial preparation you can start from the front 
sensors and bio instrumentation this is like the core biomedical uh, questions and topics that you will see during gate exam sensors resistive capacitive inductive piezoelectric hall effect electrochemical optical and you will be studying about ecg eeg emg erg gsr pcg what are the different measurement techniques uh, you know operating principle of medical equipment how spigmanometer works how ventilator works how cardiac pacemaker works defibrillator works so this is like the most important topic that i really enjoy studying you know studying about medical equipments sensors how the medical equipments are working and things like that so that will that these topics you will be covering under sensors and bio instrumentation and my favorite topic is human anatomy and physiology and here you will be covering the basic things like basics of cell types of tissue organ system homeostasis basics of organ system mucous uh, musculoskeletal respiratory circulatory excretory endocrine nervous gastrointestinal and reproductive trust me you start preparing for gate exam with human anatomy and physiology you will enjoy like the the initial part of learning would be so great that you know you will enjoy the learning and eventually once you finish this if you start the new topic also you will be like very uh, energetic and motivated to study it further right so human anatomy and physiology these are the topics you'll be covering and uh, i think this is the last one which is medical imaging systems here you will be understanding about you know basic physics how mri scanning how mri machine works how ct scan works how x-ray is working and tomograph uh, pet so pet 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 scans if you know so pet scan is also known as uh, positron emission tomography how it works am uh, like i said mri and what are the different medical imaging modalities what do you uh, do what are the different techniques to clear the image or image formation techniques instrumentation basic physics little technical but you will enjoy learning it as well especially talking about the equipments that you will be covering in this segment imaging sec imaging systems so i think again a great deal and good topic to study and you will enjoy it learning so biomechanics and i think biomechanics and biomaterial is remaining so biomechanics you will be understanding kinematics of muscles and joints free body diagrams equilibrium forces heart tissues definition of stress and strain and soft tissues structure function material property vis uh, viscoelastic properties and uh, biofluid mechanics so this is the topic i hated the most so these are the topics that you will be covering in biomechanics and finally last biomaterials this is one of the interesting topics but a lot of uh, things here are very technical you know it's like very like i, I do i hate it i hate studying so let's say if you ask me what i hated the most is basic properties of biomaterials metallic ceramic ceramic is like you, you just have to study the difference between each other you know you, basically the questions that you see, that you see in the gate exam are going to be the difference between each of them right and uh, the interesting ones in this will be basics of tissue engineering uh, you know rheology atomic force microscope uh, microscopy electron microscopy transmission electron microscopy fourier transfer fourier transform infrared spectroscopy so these are the topics that you will be covering in biomaterials cool so now what i have done in this video is I have given you basic details of gate exam what is gate why gate you should write what is the exam pattern and uh, what is the gate syllabus basic gate syllabus and then I have detailed I've like I've I've gone through biomedical syllabus that you will be covering with each topic so you in for biomedical engineering gate exam you will be covering engineering mathematics electrical circuits signal sense systems analog and digital electronics measurements and control systems sensors and bio instrumentation human anatomy and physiology Im medical imaging systems biomechanics biomaterials cool so these are the main topics followed by the subtopics in each of the sections right so you want this ppt it's there in the description and like i said in the next video i will give you free resources for each of the individual topics you can just go through each of the topics study it from the resources that we will be providing so if you want that make sure you are hitting subscribe button liking this video if it was informative and uh, share it with your friends who are preparing for gate or who want to prepare for gate and the next video is going to be really great because you know i've seen people spending thousands of rupees for gate preparations so we are developing free resources for this for studying this entire biomedical syllabus for gate exam absolutely free of cost and we will also try to see if we can have doubt clearing sessions included in this cool so thanks a lot guys i have made this video after so long a lot of things are going on and you know i stammered a lot you know i i think i lost that touch so eventually here onwards regular videos will be coming in so i'll see you in the next till then stay safe stay home and let's learn and grow together signing off it's your biomed group bye bye